Good morning, Firewall family. Uh, this is Vicenza Enns, Manitoba director. The other day I was asking the Lord what was on his heart, and he led me to Nehemiah 9. In verse 1, I'll read that. Now on the 24th day of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting in sackcloth and with dust on their heads. Then those of Israelite lineage separated themselves from all foreigners, and they stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for one fourth of the day, and for another fourth they confessed and worshipped the Lord their God. And when I read those verses, I sensed the Lord was saying that he had a response for us. He has been seeing the confession, the repentance, the prayers, the fasting. And um, he, he just gave me this word, and I just want to read it. And I believe it's just the response of the Lord our God to us. And this is what I believe he said. And he said, stand up and bless the Lord, your God, forever and ever. Don't worry about the winds which are blowing and the big tumults in the nations. Didn't I tell you these things will come? They are birth pangs, and they also are your birth pangs. I am birthing a new thing. Stay still now. Just as a mother must wait until it's time to push, wait. You will hear and know the timing of my push. In the meantime, stand up and bless the Lord your God. I am your God, and you are my people. You are entering rest, even as I rest. Rest from the wicked task masters of your soul, who beat you with false words and who toss you to and fro by the fears and the imaginations of your mind. I am angry at he who touches the apple of my eye. It is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Many come and try to take my kingdom by force, but I give it easily to those who are meek and humble. My meek ones will inherit the earth. I have chosen and will sanctify my house and my name may be there so that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. I am longing to dwell among you for my glory to come down. And right now, I am calling my sheep out. I'm calling them out of the pens. My sheep are hearing my voice. I am fine tuning the sound frequency. The prodigals, the outcasts, the addicted, the forgotten ones, all people being released from pens to walk on water. They are coming. And the government will be upon my shoulders. Even now I am, allowing, I'm, I am aligning nations. My shaking is uncovering and exposing for the very purpose of establishing those for me or against me. What I do in the nations, I do in my church. My bride will walk in my governmental rule and authority. So wait, stand still, and bless the Lord at all times. You are my beloved, and I am yours. Hear my singing over you. No good thing will I withhold from you, but stay on the path of life. Consecrate yourself. Your heart must become an open book for me. I will search you and examine you and show you anything which saddens me, and I will lead you along the path of everlasting life forever and ever. how he loves us, how he loves us. He sits on the throne and every hair on our head is counted. So he says, don't fear, stand still and bless the Lord, your God, forever and ever. Amen. We love you, Jesus.